Hey everybody, this is just a quick tutorial video on how to complete activity 2.1. And so this is out of our Earth Science book. And this, this lesson can be a little confusing, so I just want to make sure I have a video. So if you're absent or if you, uh, for some reason, need to do the alternative, you know how to do it and you have some directions for you. So our learning target today is we're going to examine evidence that scientists have used to, to understand what has happened to the Earth in the past. And I will read my article and answer the questions for Activity 2.1 to help explain the information to others. And so I'll show you where you can find those articles. So right here is Off the Planner. This year I happen to have it be number two for this day, and that's because we're going to finish up another activity first. So in other years it might be the first thing we do, and another day it might be the first thing we do. But you're going to be doing Activity 2.1. First of all, Activity 2.1 can be found in the online science textbook. Remember, you go to Clever, then Activate Learning, and then click on the Earth Science book. And when you're looking at the books, uh, you'll have the picture of the Earth on it. And you're going to be completing sections 1A and 1B. So 2.1 is a little different where they have a part 1A, they have a part 1B, and then they have a part two. So it's kind of confusing. That's why I'm creating this video to help you out. So when I talked about the articles, here are the articles. So let me read through this, and then I'm going to give you a more precise um, explanation as to what you're going to do. It says, divide up the six phenomena amongst your team. And these are the six phenomena. Each member will become an expert on one topic. You will then share your findings with each other. So let me paraphrase this a little bit more and be a little bit more precise. You're going to divide these up. Now, if you're a team of four, you're going to pick, each one of you is going to pick one of them because you will then share your findings with the other team, but you will become an expert on one topic. If you're a team of three, you each just pick one. If you're by yourself today, just pick one. So I don't want you to think that, oh, we're a group of two or so-and-so is absent. Um, now we have to do all their work too. Nope, you're each going to pick one. And keep that in mind. And I will ultimately give you some help with the ones you don't select. So you're going to complete parts 1A and 1B from Activity 2.1. So when you get to your book, it's going to have a picture on it. And um, actually, yours doesn't have the picture. I have the picture here. But it'll start out by saying, the driving question in this unit is, how is the Earth changing? How would you answer this question now? So these are a couple questions you want to think about. How do you think scientists learned about the Earth as it was in the past? And how might the way the Earth is now help us understand what the Earth was like in the past? And in the Baraboo area, that's pretty easy. When we look at the Baraboo Bluffs, how did they get that way? How were they created? And so that's really what kind of what we're exploring. How is the, how is the Earth like in the past and how did it get to be the way it is today? So the first thing you're going to have to answer in your book is the driving questions. How is the earth changing? How would you answer this question now? So just a sentence. How is the earth changing? Once you do that, your team's going to have to divide up each of these. Now, if we go back here, each one of these on the planner is a video. So... You can either use the videos, and the videos is me explaining stuff, reading through stuff, kind of giving you some background information to help you understand. Or if you just want to go to the PDF and read the original articles, you can. not What I don't want you to do is read the PDF and then come up saying, well, I don't understand. How am I supposed to do this if I don't understand? Well, then watch the videos. The videos fill you in more of the details. So you're going to want to go to the planner to find those resources. So... Remember, you are going to become an expert on one of these, and ultimately, you're going to share your findings with your team. So your team is really counting on you to do a bang-up job, and your team is counting on you to keep up. So if you fall way behind because you're off task or doing other things and not really working, your team's going to be left high and dry without having your information. So you want to make sure you come up and, and do your team a solid by keeping up. All right, so when you open up your book, or when you look at your book for 1A, after the driving questions, it'll say making sense questions. You're going to answer these three questions, and then the next three, so there's six questions to start out. You're going to answer each of these based on 
your phenomenon. So you will have different answers than your partner. And if you're in a group of four, all four of you will have different answers based on the phenomenon that you chose. So you're each going to have a different one. So you don't all pick the same one. Each of you will have a different topic. So when he answers a question, what does your phenomenon show? List three main ideas from your information sheet. How might scientists use this phenomenon as evidence to understand the Earth? Again, your answers will be different than your team. So you can't copy what they have. You can't wait for them to do the work and copy what they have or vice versa. You have to do this based on your own. So you're going to finish those questions. And then that finishes up 1A. Now for 1B, what you're going to be doing when you flip the page is you're going to be filling out this ultimately in your book you're going to be filling out this right here but in order to help you out your book should have these three questions explain the phenomenon to someone who is not reading the article you are reading so in two three four maybe five sentences explain what you just learned from your phenomenon and again your phenomenon is the one that you picked so you want to base your answer on your topic you're the expert then what are the three main ideas to think about based on what you read and how does this phenomenon help you understand what the earth was like in the past and how it was changed over time so once you have that done now here's the key you and your team you're going to fill this out together so if you were the expert on the animal fossils you will answer this for your team and your team will get the answers from you what i would suggest is if you notice right up here, number one is actually this blank right here. And question number three is actually this blank right here. I would email these to your team. And then when your team gets the email, they can go copy your emails, copy your answers, and they'll put it in their charts. So again, ultimately what's going to happen is you're going to be the expert on one of these. You're going to fill this out. So your team is really looking for you to do a really good job with these. Because remember, you can use these on the test. So if you don't do it, if you refuse to work, if you don't get done because you're not working very much, your team's going to be left high and dry, at least today anyway. So you're going to fill these out and you will have information from each member of your team. Now, ultimately, when we go through these, you'll get some information to help you fill in a gap. So even if you were a group of four and you were missing two, I will share that information with you. Or if you were all by yourself today. I will share the rest of the information with you. So once you get that done and you go further along, um, there are going to be a couple making sense questions you're going to want to do, and you can do these with your team. So now it says consider all six types of phenomenon. You can do this with your team. Just base your answers on the phenomenon that your team studied, because you might not have this complete or oh, sorry you might not have this completely filled in yet so just based this these answers where it says all six types based on the phenomena that you and your team studied and then what questions do you have about the theory of continental drift and don't you know take this and say oh i don't have any questions just to skip a question think of a question that you could ask and so I'm going to challenge you here. You don't want to leave this blank. You want to think of a question based on the evidence. And that's what scientists do. They're always thinking of questions and they're studying those questions. They're researching those questions. So as a team, come up with at least one question. Now, if you continue to scroll down where you have part two, building Pangea, do not do. You do not need to do part two because what it's going to have you do is actually going to have you build Pangea. And we've already done that with the mystery of the far-flung fossil. So again, if you have questions, you can ask, but make sure you watch this video. And some of you, I may have you watch this video if you're in class and you're not really paying attention and you don't know what you're doing. I'll have you watch the video to help you out because then you can rewind, you can fast forward stuff to uh, figure out exactly what you need. So again, good luck. Make sure you're listening in class. Make sure you're working as a good team. Ask questions if you have them. But again, don't be surprised if I just refer you to this video to help you out. Thanks. Bye.